Hey everybody, this is Coach Mike at Mega Gymnastics. Um, I want to do a short video for you to give you some tips on how to strengthen your handstand, get yourself a little better at a handstand. So um, before we start that, I want you to take a little bit of time to warm up your wrists. And then I also want you to take a little time to stretch your head and your neck a little bit because we're going to start off with some head, uh, headstands. So pause the video if you need to and do that. And then we'll get started. So a handstand is super important gymnastics because pretty much every event you do, you either do a handstand or you pass through a handstand. So it's really important to know how that feels to be upside down. So a headstand is a good way to practice that because it's a little easier to hold and you can just sit there and have your legs upside down over your head like that. So I have a mat here for my head. I have a wall here with a little wedge on it and we're gonna start kind of in a doggy position. Start in your doggy position. This is going to be a tripod. Head down, goes down on the mat, and then walk your feet up the wall. Just get comfortable with this position. Kind of feel the weight on your head, make sure it doesn't hurt too much, and then walk it back down. Give it a little rest. Next step, you would bring your knees onto your elbows, and that's your tripod. So walk your feet up the mat a little bit, bring one elbow into your knee, get your balance, and then slowly bring your other elbow into your knee. Hold it as long as you can, and then get right back out the same way. All right, so that's pretty much simple. That's it, that's your tripod. Practice holding that maybe just for five second intervals when your head starts to get hurting or flat or anything like that. Just stop and give it a rest. Maybe only do a couple times a day. The next thing you wanna do, if you get pretty good at that and you can balance in your tripod for five seconds at least, is do your headstand. Now the headstand, we're gonna flip around and go the other way because one of the first things that happens is people go up to headstand and they fall over onto their back. So we're gonna have a wall there so we don't fall on our back. We're gonna start in our tripod, kind of the same way. So you get in your tripod, get your bottom up in the air, knee to your elbow, knee to your elbow, and then slowly push your legs up in the air. Now if you fall over, boom, your feet are gonna go on the wall and you can just bring it back. Come back down, start over again. Knee to your elbow, knee to your elbow. Push it up slowly, hold it, and then maybe just tuck it down. So you're learning how to be upside down. You're building strength in your shoulders that's gonna help you out in your handstand. And it's cool to be able to hold a handstand like that. Impress, impress all your friends. <laughs> um, next thing, we're going to do our handstand now. We're going to turn back around with our belly to the wall in something we call a shoelace handstand because you pretend you're putting your shoelaces on the wall. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate first a bad shoelace handstand, kind of archy and saggy, and then I'll demonstrate a nice shoelace handstand with my tummy in, arms covering my ears. And just hold it. Maybe you could set some personal goals, see if you can hold it for 10 seconds the first day. 20 seconds the next day, see how high you can get up to. All right, so here's the shoelace handstand. Hands on the mat, and then just walk your feet up the wall. All right, now here's a bad one. Head sticking out, back archie. You wanna push up tall, head between your arms, toes pointed on the mat, stomach in. Okay, and hold it nice and tall like that, and then walk it down. So that's your shoelace handstand. Practice that. Again, give yourself some goals, maybe to hold it for 10 seconds, a little bit longer. Maybe see if you can get up to 25 or 30 seconds. Um, next thing is gonna be lunge handstand. So we're gonna do the same thing we did on the headstand. We're gonna flip around the other way. So if we kick up too hard and we're gonna fall over, we have the wall to stop us. After you hold this one, practice coming back down to your lunge, okay? So you're gonna start in a good lunge one foot in front, one foot in back, arms up next to your ears, hands go down, back leg up, and then all the way up, boom. And then you can practice holding the handstand by lifting one leg off the wall, and then maybe lift the other leg off the wall and see if you can balance it for a second. See if I can do it. There's a little balance. And then come back to your lunge. Very important to work the lunge coming out of that. And then last thing, for some of you guys who have been doing some gymnastics for a while, this is a little bit harder. If you're level one or level two, practice um, maybe taking some steps in your handstand. 
Now you're really gonna need a safe space for this because if you go crazy and fall over, you don't wanna be crashing into furniture or anything. So you might wanna try it in the backyard or anywhere where if you fall over, you're not gonna hit something or hurt yourself. So kick up to your handstand. And then as it starts to fall over, take one or two steps with your hands and just walk. It's a great way to build up strength in your upper body. So I would just start here, kicking up the handstand, wait for it to go over and then take a step and a step and a step. And then when I'm done, come down and lunge. Now you gotta be sure that if you're gonna fall over, you know how to fall over safely. I mean, if you fall over and land flat on your back, you probably won't hurt yourself, but it's not gonna feel good. <laughs> um, that's the scoop. So practice all those things. And for sure, you'll get better at your handstands. You'll get stronger just by being upside down in the handstand. And the headstands will really help you a lot. All right. Hope to see you in the gym soon.